What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about the changes Bungie promised are coming and are in the works but have been hush on ever since they mentioned these uh, via a Bungie weekly update over a month ago, maybe even longer, maybe two months, I'm not even sure. So the changes that were mentioned you can see on the screen now, although not many, but the fact of state in which Destiny 2 is in at the moment, these changes no doubt we would take over DLC any time of the week. Well, I would for sure. So, new systems and rewards to give our most engaged players additional optional pursuits. This is obviously a hint at a better endgame. And this is so, so needed, it's unbelievable. Better incentives for players who complete prestige activities. Again, this is what we need. We need incentives to keep playing. We seriously need that quality of life. Better rewards and replay value for strikes, adventures and lost sectors. Again guys, this is what's truly needed. We need reasons to do lost sectors, strikes and adventures and not just to be rewarded an extra token because that will not do. Private matches for the competitive community. Here they state we are targeting early 2018. So that's great and it's confirmed to be on its way. Crucible tuning like adjusted supremacy scoring and better spawning rules. Now I ain't much of a PvP guy but I know for sure a lot of PvP folks out there ain't happy with the lack of updates and changes to the sandbox within this game. Better incentives for completing crucible matches and penalties for quitting competitive games. Sounds like a great system for sure. Let's just hope there is true reward in playing crucible and not just an extra blue piece of gear. Also, when they say penalties for leaving games early, I hope they mean a true penalty and not something like, well, you backed out of that game early, you won't receive XP for that match. If they back out early, ban them for 20 minutes and not allow them to play Crucible. If it's that harsh, people will not back out. It's as simple as that. Continued improvements to the Iron Banner and Faction Rallies, including uniqueness of rewards. Now at TwitchCon they showcased the Season 2 Iron Banner rewards and Faction Rally rewards and to be honest all seem great. This stream came out at the right time and the changes announced look good and look like they would impact the future of Destiny in a good way. Ongoing improvements to exotics including adjustments to reduce instances of duplication. New ways to spend surplus currency and materials looking at you legendary shards. And an emo interface which allows players to equip more than one emo at the same time. So these changes have been announced and while they won't fix every problem with the game, it's still something to look forward to. It still leads to a brighter future. But within the time they've posted this, the game has become even more of a nose. People are straight up abandoning it and rightly so. Over the past few weeks we've seen few streams on a new DLC which is out December 5th, The Curse of Osiris. But we've heard nothing more on these changes they mentioned via one weekly update over a month ago. The issue I have here is though, because Bungie and its current state, nobody really cares about a DLC if it's coming to a game which is basically shit at the moment. Changes are needed to the core system of the game to make this DLC worth playing, otherwise it will get boring after a week. Yes for sure people, the DLC has been in the works since before the release of Destiny 2. Most of the content is set in stone and to be honest, content coming from this DLC doesn't even look too bad. Imagine if this game's core was perfect, we would all be looking forward to this DLC. But the fact is, Destiny 2 at the moment is in its worst state Destiny as a franchise has ever been in in my opinion and nobody really cares about a DLC. We need and want to know about changes to quality of life. We need reassurance uh, of that what they mentioned via that weekly update that these changes are actually coming and were not just mentioned to keep us happy. I for one would take a stream talking about these changes they mentioned and how they would impact the game and us as players over streams which to be honest just spoiled the DLC. They've basically already spoiled 80% of it. And next week's stream, they're going to show us all what we can obtain, weapons and gear wise, leaving us no surprise to have when a DLC comes out. Another thing I miss, I miss the element of surprise this game used to offer. But yes, for sure, people, Bungie definitely need to take their head out of the sand and address these issues we are all having. Even if they dropped a few lines on this next stream talking about major changes which are coming and they understand we are upset and they are working on it, that will kind of do at this moment in time, but we ain't getting any of that, nothing at all, it's silence on their behalf and I just don't get it. Even this week's weekly update after the backlash from the stream mentioned nothing at all. Something in my opinion just isn't right here and I don't know what it is, but something definitely seems to be off about Bungie as a company at the moment. 
I don't know if they're having issues on the inside which are affecting the game. I don't know if they're all good and dandy and plan to surprise us. I don't know what's going on with them. But I do know what's happening to their game as a result and it isn't good. Yes, Bungie have a majorly lower fan base, but they shouldn't be taking advantage of that. Which in my opinion they definitely are. And on that note guys, I am out. Tell me what you think about this down below within that comment section. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.